a religion is a relationship, my dear friends. So, we enter this wilderness for 40 days to realize how this relationship is tarnished and broken with God and with man, with your brother. So, it's all to do with the relationship that you have with him. But then, you can't have his relationship properly if you don't relate to your brother in the right way. Because you can't love God who is unseen by no, you, you, how can you love God who is not to be seen? But by not loving who is to be seen, your brother. So it's, it's, it's a two-way relationship. It's a two-way connection. If you, if you relate to your God properly, you will relate to your brother in the right way. So if you break something, you break the law, we break the relationship with God also. See my dear friends, when David fell into sin with Bathsheba, when his son died, he wrote the Psalm 51 and said, I, against you, Lord, I have sinned. It's against, it's against you that I have sinned. This is exactly what happened when you have a problem with your brother. My dear friends, so it's important, important that you do have the connection properly. Heaven is decided not by a scale, but by a, a connection. So, in some religions it is said, you weigh right and wrong, you measure. In all your, throughout your lifetime, if you have done good, then the bad, you are saved because you are, you are, you are, you are heavy here. You wait here, on the good side. So, but the Lord is saying, no, I'm not going to choose you by all the good that you have done. A righteous person, the first reading beauty says, a righteous person, if he falls into sin, he will be perished. But then if a sinner, if he corrects himself and do the will of the Father, He'll be saved. So he's saved with the connection. So can a connection will happen with obedience? My dear friends, so it's important that today you probe into your hearts and see with whom you have a grudge, anger, a bitter feeling. You can't simply, simply bypass things and go. You have to think deeply. That's what the Lord is saying. I tell you, if your, if your sense of right and wrong is not keener than, the, than that of the lawyers and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So you have to be keener than them, sharper than them. Your ideal is not the, someone in the world, rather your Abba. So, Love him as he loves you. He loves good and bad alike. His love is like his sunshine and rain. It nourishes everyone, covers everyone in the world. So it's important, my dear friends, to know that. Know that you have to be keener than everyone. The Lord is saying, see, it's not, it's the, when it comes to relationship with your brother, it's not shallow. It has to be with your root. What is beneath your heart? You have to deal with that, my friend. The Lord is saying, have you heard that it was said to your people, to our people in the past, do not commit murder. Anyone who murders will have to face trial. But now I tell you, whoever gets angry with a brother or sister will have to face trial. So you kill externally. But then inst internally, you kill in your thoughts, kill that person in your thoughts. It comes with jealousy, enmity, anger, harbored grudge. The Lord is saying about that depth, 
beneath what happened beneath your skin so it's important my dear friends to realize your your internal disposition and attitude if you have a grudge it's a terrible thing as a murder because that grudge will lead into murder so he just want does not want your action he wants your intention so it's more than your action so you can kill people in your mind in your thoughts many a times than physically that's why the lord is saying i tell you whoever insults a brother or sister sister is liable to be brought to before the council whoever calls a brother or sister a fool is liable to liable of being thrown into the fire of hell so you call and serve your brother i mean it's 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 a complete network if we have one father and we are all his children it's a network so moment you tarnish the relationship with your brother your connection is broken that's why the lord is saying so if you are about to offer your gift at the altar and you remember that your brother has something against you brother has something against you not you have something against your brother remember that your brother has something against you leave your gift there in front of the altar go at once and make peace with your brother and then come back and offer your gift to god my dear friends so it's it's important important that you have your two ways properly properly rectified the relationship that you have with god if you have it properly you will not have any grudge against anyone if you don't have any any difficult or find it difficult to love because you love god it's so a moment that relationship is broken you will hurt people you will use people you will hit people you will distort people and that's exactly what the lord is saying do not forget this be reconciled with your opponent quickly when you are together on the way to court otherwise he will turn you over to the judge he will hand you over to the police who will put you in jail there you still stay until you have paid the last penny so in the journey towards the court that is the second coming of christ that court is a second is your judgment after death so in that journey what has to be reconciled just be reconciled just reconcile it talk to your brother say sorry and ask pardon from your brother and forgive your brother so only in this journey you can do this after death you are done you are done and you are in the dust so it's important today to reconcile yourself with god by reconciling yourself with your brother examine closely why he is angry or she is angry with me help that person to overcome if you are angry with someone it's high time you decide and say sorry and reconcile think about it have a nice day may god bless you